Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Last time, I believe we finished Dark Hollow, and then 100%. Well, we 100. We uh, got everything in Dark Hollow, got everything in the Artisan Homeworld, and then got everything in Stone Hill. Now we are back here in Town Square, where we shall get everything, because. Who doesn't like getting everything? Well, except for the bad stuff. You don't want to get the bad stuff. That's just, that's just bad. That's not good. <laughs> bad is the complete opposite of good guys. Um, I know vocabulary. <laughs> good for me. Claps. Yay. I really like these bulls, just to say. I don't know why, I just really like this enemy. They're cool. But I don't know. Hmm. Their their attacks are kind of BS. I wouldn't cuss because I don't like to cuss in my videos. That's just a personal thing. But it was supposed to be a joke. Because you know they're bulls and BS. Uh funny. Not really, it's just kind of a bad, bad pun. <laughs> that wasn't even a good pun of mine. Maybe it was good. I think it just depends on whether or not the person who heard the pun enjoyed it, and that's what makes it good or bad. Hmm. You learn new things every day. My view on certain puns, I don't know. I feel that puns are good when when you like the pun. When you, if you laugh the pun, or well, unless it's, I don't know. I can't describe puns. Puns are fun. I love puns, but there are certain levels to puns. I don't know. There's like a hierarchy of pun. It's like the bad pun, kind of at the, nah, not the bottom, well, I don't know, is it, maybe it's a pyramid, the pun pyramid, kind of like the food pyramid, which, wasn't that re replaced with the plate now? I can never remember some of these, th I don't remember some of these things, it will always be the food pyramid in my heart, because I think that's what it is, but I think it's the plate now, I think it's a plate now, which a plate kind of makes sense, what they do, what they do with the plate, I'm not updated on the plate. I've just always been Food Pyramid, and oh jeez, ugh, it's the, one of these, ugh, oh, these one, one of these horrid, horrid little men. Where'd he go? I think he went all the way to the other side of the map. Or jumped off. Did he jump off? I'm not gonna chase you throughout the entire level, Buster. Sorry. I'll get you later. <laughs> I'm getting a little angry. Okay, I'm gonna chase you. Where are you? Oh, you son of a son. Man, he totally, totally got me there. I did not expect him to have the leaping powers of someone who can jump really high. Didn't expect that. What I did expect was for him to give up, surrender, and uh, hand, me his, hand me his dragon egg. Not really. That doesn't really happen with bad guys. They're kind of just like, oh, I'm a bad guy. I'm going to be bad, not give you any stuff, and be rather rude to you throughout the entire game. Is that's... Thieves are the rudest things in the world. I could go on for hours and hours about my, hates on, my hate on thieves. Now, I love them as a character. They are like a staple in the Spyro series for me, practically. But they're thieves. I hate them. No, you see, he almost killed me. They're the most hazardous enemies also as well, I believe, because you have to charge to catch up with them. And if you don't charge, like, this guy, you just fall off the cliff to your doom. Fall off the cliff to your ultimate doom. And then they don't give, they don't care. You're just like, ha we're a thief. But, no, they don't care. You just run by a cliffside, and they're like, oh, we're gonna dump you on the floor. Because we don't like you, because we're thieves. That's basically what the thief in this game is. Ah, oh, he went all the way back to the start. This is going to be eventful, my friends. This is definitely going to be eventful. <laughs> oh, I hate the thieves. Okay. I really wish I could just get this guy now. It seems like I could if I was lucky enough. If I was lucky enough, I got him before he caused any problems. There we go. Nice, two dragon eggs have no idea what they do, but they have some importance because I think the dragons were freaking out about them. So, uh, let's get those. 
Now, one thing in this game that um, I find rather hazardous myself is charging the charge attack. I mean, I am horrible with the charge attack. It is so helpful, though. Just, I am so bad at using it. I fall off cliffs all the time. Charge attack. Because I'm so bad at using it. They're fun, though. Oh, and by the way, a new treasure chest. This is another kind of treasure chest. I think I talked about this one once. You blow on it, a fan spins, and then it explodes. Pretty cool. Thor! Thank you for releasing me! Wow. A little anticlimactic there. For someone named Thor, I really expected him to say a whole lot more. <laughs> he kinda, kinda let me down there. Sorry. Thanks, Thor. <laughs> Just kidding. Thor, I'm sure, is a wonderful person. Just, he kind of, kind of let me down. He's just like, ah, oh, thanks for saving me. But, what I also found funny is his voice was really high for a guy named Thor. I mean, like, Thor's the god of thunder. You'd think it would be like, thank you for rescuing me, Spyro. But no, he was like, thank you for rescuing me. It was really high, it was high up there. And I'm like, hmm, the thunder god's been drinking some helium lately. I don't know. <laughs> It's hard to make up jokes, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not a stand-up comedian. I just play. I just make let's plays. <laughs> uh, I love making let's plays. So much fun. It is so much fun. I really enjoy making these for you guys. I, I and I really hope you you enjoy them. Oh boy! Oh, I did the flutter. I did the flutter. I didn't think I could do that in this game. Nice. So apparently, if you hit the button a third time, the X button. I need to specify more. The button. No, it's the X button. Apparently, if you hit the X button a third time, you use this flutter move that saves you a little trouble when you're on a big fall. Yeah, it's just enough to maybe boost you up. Or can I do it? No, apparently not. Um, I'm pretty sure I did it. I don't remember how I did it. Maybe I just hit a wall. I can't remember. Huh. Crazy. <laughs> Sorry, maybe you can't... Maybe you cannot do the flutter. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Hmm, it's taking a little while. It's taking a while to get through Town Square. Where are these magnificent gems that I've missed? Probably in the enemies. Ooh, is it in the enemies? That would be. I'm pretty sure I've got the majority of the enemies. Hmm. And I took the secret like high up passages. That leads back to the start. Man, there's certain parts where, like, they'll hang, they'll hang little hideaways off the edges of levels, and you, you hardly know they're there. Nope, not enemies. Okay. So, I've got to look for some, some mysterious hideaway off the side of the level. Hmm. Perhaps this way? No? Hmm. Questionable? I've been saying questionable a lot. A lot. Is it questionable that there's a hideaway or not? I don't know. Is there a hideaway? I feel like there should be one. I mean, I can't find any of these gems. Where are they hiding from me? Why are they hiding from me? I just want to collect them and put them in my pocket. Nothing else. Just, just get a hefty amount of money before money bags comes to this realm and takes every single piece of cash that you have. Actually, right now he lives in Avalar, so he can't really do much to us. Can't really affect our lives right now. <laughs> he lives in Avalar. We won't be seeing him until the second game. I swear, where are these last gems? Wow. I'll maybe speed up, maybe cut out, until I find these. They're probably in some nook or cranny that I just forgot to check. See, I told you, this game is hard. <laughs> It's not necessarily hard hard, as in the sense of like, super, oh my goodness, this is like kicking my butt hard. Well, actually, the later levels get pretty hard. But, this is like, it's like, where is everything? If you're trying to like, 100% the game. Where are all the gems? So hard to find them. But it's fun. Fun looking for them. Now, I need to climb up somewhere. I feel, I feel like I need to... I have searched this level, like, left and right, and have not found these gems. Where are they? I have a feeling they're somewhere really blatantly obvious. Is there a key in this level, maybe? 
Maybe there's a key and I'm missing a key. Where is the... Mm, I'm confused thoroughly. <laughs> Man. Why? 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 Why is this level so hard? No, wait. Is that something over there? No, that can't be. Hmm. This level's hard. It's, it was this one and Stone Hill that gave me the most problems so far with finding everything. They, the game designers did so well at hiding all of the gems in the game. I want to point that out and give them some credit. They are awesome at hide and seek because I am losing the hide and seek game right now. <laughs> but yeah, I really have no clue where the gems are. Wait. Aha! Found them! Saw them out of the corner of my eye. Of course they're against a back wall that I'm never going to face. <laughs> of course they're right by the entrance over here. Oh my gosh. Way to go. <laughs> That's pretty pro right there. Gotta point that out. Let's see. Now I think, yep, that is everything in the artisan world. Now we just have to go face Toasty. Wow, it is the fourth episode, and we are already probably... Yeah, we're going to get done with the first world by the fourth episode. That's crazy stuff. I'm glad that there are a lot of worlds. And wait, this won't let me up, will it? Uh, yeah, it will. Okay, I just need to weasel my way through there. Sometimes, like... Sometimes I'm afraid that, like, the, the, the draft, the air draft, will pick me up and throw me all the way back up in the air. But that didn't happen, so that was nice. Anyway... Time to go face Toasty. Let's save first, though. Hello, pretty fairy lady. With your blonde hair and your red dress and your strange wand. Let's go fight Toasty. He's obviously not going to taste like bread. <laughs> that was really bad. I'm sorry. That was a bad pun. And oh boy, there are gems... There are gems in this level too. Oh wait, I forgot that the boss levels are actually levels as well. Also cool. I'm sorry I haven't pointed. Why did I say I'm sorry? Because I just haven't gotten to that yet. It's time to point it out. I don't need to be sorry. I see you point it out now. The boss levels are also normal levels. Well, not normal levels. They're boss levels, but the boss levels are also level levels. So it has stuff to collect in them. They have stuff to collect in them. They have enemies. It's it's not like your everyday everyday boss fight where you're just like oh I'm gonna go fight a boss now just gonna, I'm gonna go fight a boss today no this is like I'm gonna go fight a boss today and totally like be awesome I'm totally gonna go pick up gems and stuff and okay these dogs take two hits gotta remember that however I think the boss levels are a little more straightforward than regular levels oh poop I'm totally dead don't laugh at me Shepard dude with a wizard hat. Wow, he's totally crazy. He's nuts. Gotta get rid of him. Gotta get rid of the dog, too. Aw, oh, darn it. Man, those dogs. Those dogs are tricky. And, okay, does, did it reset everything in the level? I don't think it did. No, it, yeah, no, it didn't. It didn't reset everything. Good. So I can just, I can go through this a little bit faster. Wait, do I want to even wake up the dogs? Can I even, like, leave? Can I just leave the dogs alone? Will they leave me alone in return? Oh, boy. I don't like these shepherd guys. They're mean. <laughs> these guys are tough. Okay. I mean, I know in the end that I have to fight every single enemy and get the gems from them, but maybe, like, the second time I play through a level, I don't have to do that. I don't know. Just there's some enemies I've already... Well, I had to get him. Okay, so if you haven't collected the gem from an enemy yet... You still have to collect the gem. Wow, these dogs are a pain. I really don't, the, I don't... I really don't favor the dogs here in this level. I love dogs in general, but these dogs just seem to be really insanely rude. And wow. <laughs> you really gotta keep your distance from the enemies here. They, uh, they're pretty... pretty... pretty good at attacking back. Okay, dog. I love dogs. I love animals, but I'm sorry, but I have to fight you. There we go. Now, is there anything back here? There should be more than a red gem. Yep, there's a side path. Oh, poop! 
Oh my gosh, these dogs. These dogs are a pain. <laughs> Aha! Got you! <laughs> that was close. That was really close. I'm surprised with myself. Nice. Oh my gosh. I just want to point out, listen to the music. This is the most magnificent music ever. Spyro games in general. Oh, the music. So good. This is Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> Toasty barbecue. We're gonna take him down. He's just a boss. And that's actually kind of creepy. Okay, so he's a little crazy. Whoa. So what? Can I only sustain... Wait. It's a sheep. It's a sheep on stilts. Yeah, get out of here, Toasty. What are you? What do you think you are? You just hide behind your enemies. Not your enemies. You just hide behind... Yeah. No, it's not his enemies. Your little doggy henchmen. You're not putting up a fight. I wonder if he does have attacks, though. He might if I linger around in front of him too long. It's just a sheep. It's a sheep on stilts. It's a sheep on stilts. That's a little cheap right there. Mr. Toasty. Trying to be tricky. My gosh, who do you think you are? Why are you even working for Nasty Nork? I mean, why? Why is a sheep working for Nasty Nork? Oh! He... What? I got killed by a sheep on stilts. <laughs> Last attack, got killed by the sheep. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was crazy right there. Get out of here, Toasty. We don't like you. Did I get this gem? I don't think you drop one. Thankfully, the dogs are avoidable, though. I can't believe he hit me. That was mean. He hit me with a stilt. Get out of here, Toasty. We don't like you. Here's a sheep. A normal, af average, everyday sheep. And I killed all your henchmen. But then you were just all like, Nope, well, I'm going to totally defeat you. <laughs> there we go. That should be 100 percent I think nope there is more money plenty of money is that it I think that's it let me check yep toasty the artisan world is complete time to return home welcome back to the land of the artisans now free from the horrible, horrible tyranny of Nasty Nork. Now, I believe in the next episode, we will go confront the Blimp Man and see where he can take us. Or there is nothing else in the... I am burpy, my goodness, sorry. But I think there's nothing else in the wonderful world of the artisans that we can... that can really benefit us. We've gone through all the levels. We have 100% of them. So it is time, I believe, to move on to the next area. In the next episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.